Hello, I'm going to do a quick uh, tutorial video on how to get a 100% calibration result 90 to 95% of the time. Uh, this generally works pretty reliably and it's pretty quick. So let's get started. So what we're basically going to do is separate the uh, the map here into thirds based on um, three of the corners. So we'll do this third this third, this third. The first thing we'll do is we'll start with the cone. So this will put a cone um, in the direction where the highest concentration of ore is in this circle. Not, it doesn't point towards the peak of the map, it points towards the highest concentration within the circle. So the point we want to do is we want to cover as much of the map as possible when we're searching. So we'll start in this corner, as you can see, um, getting that coverage. So we now know that the peak is somewhere in this cone. So we'll now use the peak tool, which will draw a line in the direction of the highest concentration again within the circle. We'll position that within the, uh, the cone like this. And we'll get a line and then we will use the point tool because it's nice and cheap. And we'll do a couple of points on this line and we'll see what we're looking at. So we can see that uh, we're about 50% and it's going up in this direction. So we'll go out again and go a little bit more and see what we get. And we're actually very high, so we might even go out one more. Normally I'd only do two, but we might do three because we might even have it. Ooh, I don't think we've quite got it. Right, so now we'll go on to uh, the next third of the map um, and we'll use the cone again. Now. The amount of battery that gets used is not just based on the tool, it's also based on the distance your probe has to travel. So you can see if I have the cone here, I'm using less battery than if I have the cone up here, because the um, the probe has to travel slightly further. So I'll go for the shortest distance, um, which is likely to point me back to where I already was, but we shall see. So we'll do again, we'll put the peak in, uh, in here. Oh, okay, interesting. So the line is not actually pointing to where we previously were, so we may even have the proper peak. We'll do another couple of points on this line, see how we get on, and there it is, 100%. Um, uh, so we've now found it. What I'll do is I'll finish. So um, this is what I would do if I was going all the way, and you can then see roughly um, what would what the, the failure scenarios would be. So then if I hadn't found the peak at this point, I would then do another cone up here, I would do another peak within that cone. And then again, I would put a couple of points on it to find out uh, if I'd found the peak within there. And as you can see, it's taking me towards the previous one we had. So as you can see, what we've covered is the majority of the map. The only time this is gonna fail is when the, um, I'll use the area one, when the peak is in this corner, this corner, or this corner. That's the only time you'll miss. And you'll see we've actually got some battery left. So you can normally maybe even cover off one of those corners with an area tool, or maybe do use a point um, in each corner uh, to, to see if you get lucky and find it. So you can cover off the majority of the map. And that's why I say it, this works 90 to 95% of the time, because uh, you're really only missing about 10% of the map. Um, maybe even 5% if you're able to get a few extra uh, points in. So right, we'll, um, we'll take that 100% and uh, yeah, there we are. Hopefully this is helpful.